rights. That was fighting for gay rights, mm -hmm. and people were killed. Nobody they were was killed at Stonewall. Nobody was Nobody. killed. Shortly after the filming of the season, there's tons of spoilers that get leaked through Reddit to the fans of the show. But these spoilers aren't always right. So in this video, we're going to look at some of the best fake spoilers that have come out over the years. This is an updated version of one of my previous videos from over a year ago. But since you guys wanted me to merge it with the new spoilers, I decided to take this as an opportunity to heighten the quality and add some new information. But before we start, is your colon dirty? Yeah. That's what I thought. That's why this video is sponsored by Colon Broom. Colon Broom is a fiber-based supplement that contains a blend of dietary fibers that help bulk your stool and promotes healthy bowel movements. I've actually used Colon Broom for a couple weeks now and it's been a complete game changer. Colon Broom can reduce bloating, help with your digestion, and even promote weight loss. To top it all off, taking Colon Broom can result in a noticeable improvement in your daily mood, along with visibly improving your skin's health. Again, taking Colon Broom helps clean your intestines tract. And it's actually very common for people to take fiber supplements to make sure they're taking proper care of their health. Right now, Colon Broom is giving away a 65% discount on select products. And if you use code GREENGAY10, you can get an extra 10% off. Honestly, you might as well try it out. That way, we can all brag about having healthy colons together. So make sure you click the link in the description. Now, let's begin. Season 6. Bianca Del Rio breaks her leg on episode 1 and is eliminated by default. Gia is dead after an apparent overdose. Kelly Mantle is top three. Season 7. Miss Fame, Jaden Dior Fierce, and Candy Ho are the top three of the season. Mrs. Kasha Davis is cast on season 7 because RuPaul was tired of seeing her audition tapes every year. Season 8. Acid Betty punches Michelle's left tit. She also refuses to lip sync and stands there doing nothing. Garlet Starlet is on season 8. Season 9. I'd slap you, but... I don't want fake slut on my hands. Aja is rumored to have said this to Kimura during a heated fight in Untucked. Peppermint goes home first and is very bitter about it. At one point in the season, Nina's hip pads go missing during one of the episodes. Later on in the main stage, Pheromone breaks down and reveals that she took Nina's hip pads and hid them in her hotel room so that Nina wouldn't be able to wear them anymore. Layla McQueen is on season 9. Nina Bonina Brown is top 4. A contestant refuses to take off their mask during a lip sync. After Rue yells at her, she finally takes it off only to reveal an unpainted face. Rue then eliminates her on the spot. James Mansfield makes RuPaul cry. James is rumored to make it all the way to the top 7. During her elimination, RuPaul and the judges get very emotional. All-Stars 3. Valentina was cast on All-Stars 3. She even makes it to the set and films her entrance, but after seeing Aja in the workroom, she refuses to continue filming. BB and Trixie form an alliance. After Thorge's elimination, Milk whispers to Trixie, I'm gonna avenge our sister. But later on, Trixie tells Kennedy about what Milk said, which leads to Kennedy eliminating Milk. BB is a mole on All-Stars 3. Aja wins 6 challenges. Darian Lake is on All Stars 3. While lip syncing for her life on episode 1, she takes off her wig to reveal a McDonald's burger and starts to eat it in the middle of the lip sync. Fruit by Marina is a lip sync song. On the Return of the Queens episode, Ben chooses to bring back Morgan. But Morgan then chooses to eliminate Ben de la Creme. RuPaul is so upset about the jury vote that he storms off set. Michelle Visage crowns Trixie herself. Angina is on All Stars 3. But during the reading challenge, Angina does such a bad job the RuPaul eliminates her on the spot before the talent show even starts. There's a meme runway. Aja's outfit strongly resembles the Hermit the Frog drinking tea meme. Season 10. During the filming of Season 10, TMZ released an article that stated that Blair was violating her DUI court order by going to Los Angeles to film. This was used as supporting evidence for the following fake spoiler. While on the main stage, RuPaul calls Blair to the front of the stage. RuPaul tells Blair she's been disqualified and she's then arrested and taken off stage. That same episode so there's a circus themed challenge. Aquaria and Eureka lip sync to Donatella by Lady Gaga, but they both are saved thanks to Blair's disqualification. Aquaria and the Vixen lip sync against each other. Aquaria gets naked and dances on the judging panel, while the Vixen performs gravity defying moves. The Vixen wears an oily look that causes Eureka to fall on the main stage. While in Untucked, Eureka confronts the Vixen about the situation, to which the Vixen replies, uh, 
you're bleeding. Aquaria wears box braids on stage and is called out by the vixen. Yua Hamasaki was in a coma. All Stars 4. Mohart's talent show performance is considered to be worse than Coco's on All Stars 2. Pheromone and Jasmine Masters are the top two for the talent show. Farah wins the lip sync for your legacy and eliminates Mohart. Naomi wins a legacy lip sync, but when taking out the lipstick of the queen she chose to go home, she applies some of it to her lips and poses with it. When Naomi eliminates Manila, Latrice Reese volunteers to go home, but RuPaul doesn't let her, and Manila is eliminated anyway. Pheromone makes it to the top four of All Stars 4. Farah eliminates Valentina, but later on, Valentina returns to the competition and eliminates Farah. Valentina then makes top two. Valentina and Manila are the final two. The Valentina crowning footage hoax. This photoshopped image was leaked online, and many believed there was a screenshot of Valentina's crowning. In fact, people believed it so much that even after Valentina was eliminated, some some fans were still clinging to the hope that this image was real, and that at some point Valentina would return to the competition. Season 11. Evie Oddly is eliminated at top 7. Silky Not Meg Ganage is given the Miss Congeniality edit. Ariel Versace and Scarlet Envy lip sync, but their performances makes RuPaul feel very uncomfortable. Kahana Montrese and Plastique Tiara have such a heated rivalry that it is compared to Coco and Alyssa's. Kahana Montrese makes it all the way to the top 6. She sends home Soju and Ariel Versace. She's then eliminated against Plastique. Miss Vanjie is the villain of the season. The girls confront her about not liking her, to which Vanjie says, I don't care if y'all don't like me. I made 13 friends last season. I'm not here to make more. The Plastique Tiara vs. Nina West storyline. During a design challenge, Nina spitefully throws flaws at Plastique and says, quote, You should make an outfit out of it. But Plastique actually does and wins the challenge. Michelle tells Brooke she should paint softer to hide her manly features. Brooke tells her, she she should do the same. Season 12. Jackie Cox lip syncs to kill the lights while blindfolded. A contestant on season 12 flirts with the hot coach during the martial arts challenge and is placed in the bottom two for unprofessionalism. A contestant purposely flops the challenge to cement themselves as a lip sync assassin. During the lip sync, they aggressively moonwalk across the stage. It is believed to be Gigi Good. Season 12 will be the last season to be hosted by RuPaul. Canada Season 1. Tainomi Banks makes top four. Season 13. The promo theme for this year is winter. During the strong enough lip sync, Candy reveals nine wigs. Olivia slips on one of them and is eliminated. Tina Burner is so shocked after her elimination that she faints and is taken away on a stretcher. There is a 14th queen. Taylor Swift is the guest judge for the premiere episode. Rosé faints. The promo for this season is shot from the queen's home due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Gottmik lip syncs to Britney Spears and ends up revealing into a bald cap. Kamora Hall is top four. There is no queen this season that lands on the bottom more than once. There is a roses runway. Elliot with two T's is the first queen eliminated from the season. Lala Ree places ninth. There is a Simone vs. Joey J lip sync. There is a beaded aerial routine where Candy Muse falls on her ass. There's also a medical supply sewing challenge where Candy wins. Olivia Lux calls Candy Muse the hot dog water of drag. Lady Red is on season 13. UK season 2. Ginny Lemon flips off the judges and says F you before walking off stage. Ellie Diamond plays Tiffany Pollard for Snatch Game. Bimini Bamboulash wins the season. Down Under Season 1, Ketamine is first out. Coco and Maxi lip sync against each other, and it's a double elimination. Art Simone is then brought back. All Star 6, Yara Sofia wins the first lip sync and sends home Trinity K. Bonet. But Trinity dominates the game within a game and inevitably wins the season. Her winner line is, quote, This is what I do successfully. Jiggly Caliente is the narrator of the season and makes it to the top four. Yara Sofia calls Serena Chacha the Make-A-Wish girl. Trinity wins a challenge, but she loses the legacy lip sync. Later on, she reveals that she chose to eliminate Eureka and that America would have made the same decision. Eureka then starts to cry. During the ball challenge, Raja chooses to eliminate Akiria and says, quote, I'm just returning the favor, referring to their original season where Akiria sent home Raja during the lip sync for your life. Pandora Box wins the snatch game. Rebecca Glasscock is a lip sync assassin. There was a fake leak of a transcript of an episode of Untucked, but it was all just made by a fan. Jan gets her heel stuck in her wig during the womanizer lip sync and spends the rest of her performance trying to get it out. Glue, the rusical. A 
Glee slash Animal Farm inspired musical challenge. Ginger wins by playing Mr. Loophole, a character inspired by Mr. Shu. Jada Essence Hall wins the lip sync for your legacy alone and cries as she eliminates Trinity K. Bonet. But as Trinity is walking out, Eureka randomly announces that she also chose Trinity and hands Trinity her lipstick. The Vixen is a lip sync assassin and once again performs gravity defying moves. Jan's entrance line is, don't worry, I got here safe and sound. Ginger does Betty White for Snatch Game. Kylie Sonique Love wins three challenges. Roger O'Hara and Brooklyn Heights lip sync to Say So by Doja Cat. The whole concept of the game within a game is a lip sync smackdown, where each song they use is one that needed redemption, such as I Will Survive, Oops I Did It Again, or No Scrubs. Akira doesn't hug Raja after Raja chooses to eliminate her. UK Season 3. Every episode was filmed in one day. It ended up being a fall leak from a queen. Charity Case and Untucked says that her drag was great enough for Vogue magazine, so she doesn't care about what RuPaul says. But when she gets back to the main stage, Ru asks her to say it straight to her face. Canada's Drag Race Season 2. The first challenge is Thanksgiving themed. Beth goes home wearing a turkey suit. Season 14. Orion's outfit falls apart during her lip sync and she ends up performing naked. Lady Camden's snatch game is Madonna. Bosco wins the makeover and the final challenge. June Jambalaya and Maddie Morphosis lip sync to I Wanna Go by Britney Spears. Maddie pretends to be Charlie Hyde's for the first half of the lip sync, only to completely slay the second half of it. Diabetti makes it to the finale without any wins. Bosco is the villain of the season. Jasmine Kennedy gives up in her lip sync and just decides to stand there, which is why Bosco ends up winning. They just got lip syncs to Levitating by Dua Lipa, but it's edited out of the episode because she sucked so bad. Although Deja has said that this did in fact happen, but it also feels like she's just joking around. So at this point, it's just a conspiracy theory. Season 14 will continue Drag Race's winning streak at the Emmys. UK versus the world. Lemon tap dances for her talent show and is eliminated. Envy Peru is on the season. There is drama between Mo Hart and Jimbo, which results in Mo Hart eliminating Jimbo from the competition. Manila Luzon is part of the cast. Pinjina Heels is top four. There's a double crowning filmed between Cheryl Hole and Jujubi. Pinjina loses a lip sync to Cheryl Hole in a ball gown for her cat runway. After Lemon gets sent home, first she lays on the main stage in disbelief, having to be carried out by the pit crew. Jimbo breaks her thumb during a girl group challenge. Cheryl Hull wins at least one challenge. Bag of Chips, Cheryl Hull, Jujubee, and Pangina Heels are the final four. There's a redemption runway where queens get to choose any look from any season that they dislike and recreate it. All Stars 7, The Secret of the Platinum Plunger. There's a twist at the end of the season where it's revealed that the blocks were secretly stars that the queens were giving away. Monet and Shay get into a huge fight together. The Lady Gaga song is Mary the Night. It ended up being Judas. A queen complains to production for rigging the competition feeling that Jinx is being favored. Jinx and the Vivian were meant to be the villains of the season, and the other queens get very frustrated with Jinx. Monet slays the finale lip sync so much that Jinx stops performing halfway through. Jinx's lip sync to Kings and Queens is just as iconic as her Milambo 1 lip sync. Raja is not the fashion queen of the season. The whole season was for charity, and the amount of stars each queen earned will be converted into money for the charity of their choice. Raja doesn't do very good this season and only wins one star. Monet is given two stars randomly, presumably during a mini challenge. The Vivian makes top four in a controversial decision over Data Essence Hall. Canada versus the world. Anita leaves extremely bitter and accuses Brooklyn of riggery. Raja wins the reading challenge and calls Brooke a quote, unseasoned rotisserie chicken. On episode 4, Rita and Victoria Scone are the top two. Everyone else is in the bottom. Rita chooses to eliminate Isis Couture. It is a shock, especially for Vanity Milan, who had already packed up her bags before going back on the main stage. Stephanie Prince comes into the competition extremely cocky. She is then humbled real quick. Silky and Stephanie get into an argument and it gets personal. Stephanie and Kendall Gender are very upset about Isis returning to compete despite already winning her season. Isis quits 
quits for her mental health after being told she's in the bottom. Her lipstick had already been picked by Rita before she left anyways. Rita Baga has a breakdown after losing the final lip sync. Raja offers help to completely make Anita's design for the ball challenge. But Anita rejects it with a very nasty response. Later on, when Anita is making her plea for Raja to save her from elimination, Raja repeats the same nasty line that Anita said earlier. Tace, Valentina, and Miss Cracker are on the season. Isis Couture and Silky Not Meganaj lip sync against each other for the chance to eliminate Stephanie Prince because they both hate her. Season 15, the bottom two for the Lala Perusa are Marsha, 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 and Jax. Marsha wins because Jax is so tired from lip syncing the whole episode. On episode one, Marsha deliberately bombs the talent show so that she can lip sync the seven rings in front of Ariana Grande, but she ends up being saved from the bottom two. Sugar insults Mistress Isabel Brooks. Spice wins the ball after constructing a hot couture outfit made entirely from hot glue. Spice reaches the finale with four wins. Lucy LaDuca wins the makeover. The bottom two are Lux Noir London and Mistress Isabel Brooks. Yet Lucy volunteers to lip sync against Mistress to quote, take her competition out. Lucy is then eliminated after losing the lip sync. Lux Noir London quits after episode 4 because she doesn't have enough confidence. Sasha Colby eliminates Sugar on episode 3, after lip syncing to One More Time by Daft Punk. Sasha Colby has 4 challenge wins, but also has 4 bottom placements. Spice is asked by Michelle why did she make her outfit so badly, and Spice says, quote, I saw what Sugar was doing and it was terrible, and I wanted to be the one to send her home. Sasha is in the bottom two for three episodes before episode six. The best lip sync of the season is Anitra versus Marsha 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 to single ladies by Beyonce. Marsha is the villain of the season after she isn't able to perform seven rings in front of Ariana Grande. Thank you to Colin Broom for sponsoring this video. Make sure to click the link in the description for a huge discount. Alright, that's about all the spoilers that we have so far. If I missed any, please make sure to let me know in the comments. I want to take a moment to thank my patrons. In the Elite Pink Squad, we have Matthew Burns, Gay Uncle, Wendell Norris Realtor, Tyler Hendricks MD, Poppers Alberta, and Sari Tish. In the Gay Squad, we have Ethan Von Queer and Emma Malander. And in the Green Squad, we have Azure, Cayman Rider Furry, Franny Fishsticks, Edgar Allan Pup, O Nicole, the only Sean, and LP. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter at GreenGayYT for updates on future videos, and I'll see you guys next time.